This is Dick Johnson here with my favorite human being, Bob Beans. We are getting ready for the Robot Fighting Championship. A fight between OP1 and Chop. Please stand by for the introductions from Bruce Biffa. Welcome to those in attendance at the Austin, Texas Arena and to the fans around the world. We have a three-round fight in the Robot fighting championship and in the red corner we have a fighter with a zero zero record he is a hook punch specialist fighting in his first fight cha and in the blue corner we have a fighter well known to fans of the robot fighting championship he is a front moving and hammer specialist oh P1. I am excited for this fight, Bob. How about you? Dick, to be honest with you, I don't know what to expect from these fighters. Uh, Chop is not very experienced. And here we go. OP1 comes out hot and straight and then backs out. And it looks like Chop is really doing a lot of shadow boxing, which would be good, except that Chop is in a fight and isn't hitting anything but air. OP1 seems to be punching himself in the stomach, which is strange. And Chop is doing a lot of air punching. Hopefully, these two will find each other and uh, start causing some damage. It looks like we can now have a face off, and Chop is coming in with the patented left, right hook punch, left, right hook punch. And I'll say it one more time left, right hook punch. OP1 came out with his patented charge but seemed to miss chop and chop is chop better be careful before he chops bruce biffer uh op1 is backing up trying to line up again and it looks like he found his target chop takes a low hit from op1 op1 turns around and now finally looks like he's getting on the offensive but it's a little bit too late <laughs> And we're getting ready for round two. Round one could have went to either fighter. Nobody really did much. No much damage was done. Uh, folks, hopefully we'll see some more action in this round. Bob, you ready? Let's do it. And right off the bat, OP1 takes a little bit of a fall, uh, which is definitely not good. But it uh, looks like OP1 is about to get it up. Bruce Biffer watching from the side. Uh, Chop should be attacking. It looks like Chop's about to attack. But he's pretty far away. Bob, what are you seeing? Uh, it looks like OP1 face planted. He does not look good at all. If he doesn't get up soon, this fight's going to be over. Uh, Chop is banging the cage, declaring victory. But he doesn't realize that OP1 just got up. Back to you, Dick. Uh, Bob, thank you for that insight. Yeah, we do see like OP1 is charging and Chop is chopping, but at the wrong opponent. The cage is not his opponent. Uh, both fighters now standing at the cage. They seem to be screaming at the audience. We don't know what is going on. OP1 it seems to be lining up, though, for an attack on Chop. And Chop twists and turns and gets out of the way and is ooh, just misses OP1 with a forward movement. Uh, Chop is coming in hard and fast, still a little bit too far to cause any damage. Hopefully, uh, Chop will find the distance pretty soon because hitting the air is not scoring any points at all. And OP1 comes in, and now we finally have a fight. Chop is peppering the, the midsection of OP1. OP1 is coming down with his patented hammer shot. Oh, Chop is really working the guts of OP1. OP1 has got to be in pain right now. This is, wow, these are a lot of unanswered shots. OP1 is pointing... He's pointing to his belly saying, ow, it looks like he's, he's going to go down. Oh, no, Chop is attacking Bruce Biffer. This is not good, folks. Uh, Chop better back off or, or he's going to get disqualified. And uh, it looks like OP1 is calling to somebody, come here. Ooh, just in time, the round ended. <laughs> 
and that was quite a round chop really came through at the end and op1 almost went down op1 looked like he was about to cry at one point bob you ready i'm ready dick let's get this thing moving i gotta get home and we're off round three and op1 comes in fast seems to be getting ready for some hammer oh he's hammer shotting Chop does not have a lot of room, but Chop is opening it up. And once again, Chop is chopping OP1's midsection. Uh, for some reason, Chop is moving away. I don't know if Chop is hurt or if he's trying to get at OP1's back. But once again, Chop hitting the air. Not good. Uh, OP1 seems to just be standing there in shock. He doesn't know why uh, Chop is doing this, but Chop is hopefully going to go. Oh, there we go. OP1 is helping out. And. It looks like Chop is back in the game. Chop is chopping away. OP1's midsection is getting peppered. Once again, we see OP1 pointing to his midsection. You could almost hear him screaming, ow. This is not good. Uh, Chop just buried a left hook into OP1's guts. OP1 is backing away. I think OP1 is down. And that is it. OP1 is down. Wow. <laughs> That was incredible, Bob. Can you believe it? Dick, finally, we saw something from Chop. A multitude of hook punches. OP1 could barely breathe at the end. He was pointing to his belly, and then he just face planted hard. Well said, Bob. I agree. That was crazy. And let's get ready to go to Bruce Biffer for the final decision. And we have... Our winner, by knockout in the third round. Let's hear it for Chop! <laughs> Folks, and there we have it. Chop with his first victory and a victory by knockout over a wily veteran like OP1. This was super exciting. Please join us next week for another round of fights from the Rolex Fighting Championship.